Family, welcome back to the channel. We have Jay-Z Mistress dies while she was pregnant. Now that happens to be such a coincidence that it's actually the girl that he was cheating on Beyonce with and she happens to die while she's pregnant. Now a lot of people are believing that this was a setup by Jay-Z so it doesn't really taint his image or his legacy when it comes to him and Beyonce. Which, imagine he did have a whole nother child while Jay-Z and Beyonce were openly in relationship. That would be kind of wild. So let's see what's going on in this video right here. Yo, when we talk about there's no rest for the wicked, we really are targeting people like Jay-Z. Allegedly, for the last couple of days, Jay has not had any sleep because the Kathy White story is back in the tabloids. And this time, it could get really messed up for Jay-Z and Beyonce. Girl, this old story could also be the blackmail that Jason Lee has on Bay's head. Cause tell me why I have just found out that people first learned of the affair with Jay-Z and Kathy from her good friend at the time, Jason freaking Lee. Child, I know that we are all aware that Hova is capable of doing absolutely anything to get his way. That far we can all agree. And by anything, I mean unaliving someone who is pregnant with his child. That is the unfortunate story of Kathy White, known to her friends as Corey. And I have dug through- I'll be honest, I wouldn't be surprised. I believe a lot of these artists do a lot of wild things just so they could get to the top every Even pit sacrifices. hole possible to gather the receipts of how Jay allegedly had poor Kathy unalived and how Bay was involved. Y'all are gonna need to get comfortable for this one cause even I wasn't prepared for all the filth when I started digging. Okay y'all, let's go to the very beginning. Basically, Kathy White was Jay-Z's mistress who died mysteriously the year Beyonce got pregnant with Blue and she died shortly after doing an interview about her relationship with Jay-Z. So the rumor that Jay and Kathy were together was sparked after after she and Claudia Jordan were spotted at Las Vegas Town Nightclub sitting at a table with Jay-Z and Diddy in 2010. And Bay was not present. They were there to see the Floyd Mayweather and Juana Manuel Marquez boxing match with sources revealing that just before they attended the Sin City fight, Jay purchased a $25,000 pair of Louis Vuitton shoes for Kathy to wear that evening. Allegedly, Jay also requested that Corey bring a few friends to ride with them that evening so that it would not look like they were a thing. Then, during their time in Vegas, Jay also took Corey gambling at the Bellagio Casino, and once again, he insisted on Corey bringing a few friends to their table in an attempt to cover their public appearances. The thing is, Jay had been allegedly smashing Kathy behind Beyonce's back for longer than Jay and Beyonce had even been married. But what was not so shocking at the time was the fact that Kathy was a close friend of Claudia Jordan. I mean, was I mean, let's be honest, like we. Jay Z has had a long career. Him and Beyonce have been together for a while. He's definitely been hitting shorties behind Beyonce's back, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. As a rapper, a hundred percent. Having the child though is probably where they drew the line. They're like, nah, we gonna need to handle this one. That's crazy. And killing both the people. Let's find out. Let's well see. known for being a home wrecker. Allegedly, just like Claudia, Kathy had openly admitted to only messing with super rich guys, and that unless a man had a net worth of at least 50 million, she wouldn't pay him any attention. Which means that, that Hova bigger. was a perfect catch for her. Speaking of Claudia, in 2020, Crazy Days and Nights wrote a blind item saying, Our host has always stayed quiet about the death of her friend, but has become more convinced over the years that the permanent A plus list rapper had her friend. It just seemed too convenient that he wanted her out of the picture. And shortly after, he said that the friend ended up dead. The blind item later revealed the A-list host was Claudia Jordan. The rapper was Jay-Z and Claudia's friend was Kathy. Okay, since the affair was ongoing, it was only a matter of time before fans figured it out and tabloids started reaching out to Kathy for tea. Allegedly, two weeks before she passed on, Kathy was contacted by a major tabloid that was investigating the Jay-Z connection. She gave them little information to go on on, but according to one of the sources following her conversation with the tabloid, she called Jay and told him that she was going to go public with their affair for a price. Then, about 48 hours after the announcement that Beyonce was pregnant with Jay-Z's baby, Kathy suddenly passed on under wow. suspicious circumstances, and the cause of death was given as a brain aneurysm. Tell me that isn't suspicious. Of course, it's hella sus, and after a bit of more Bro. digging, I came across a report saying that Kathy did not die from a brain aneurysm. According to an NYPD detective, Kathy's cause of death Bro, was- Bro, these people are wicked. They would do anything to keep their name at the top. Anything, bro. Holy shucks, come on. Like this is, 
This is very coincidental here. We all have to admit that this is very coincidental. In a sticky situation. It's hella sus. And after a bit of more digging, I came across a report saying that Kathy did not die from a brain aneurysm. According to an NYPD detective, Kathy's cause of death was uncertain. And the detective said that they had the autopsy and toxicology reports done to figure out what really happened to her. Here's what the detective said. Quote, a 911 call came from an apartment on 130 West 19th Street in Manhattan. Ambulance came and took Kathy because she was sick. They took her to the Beth Israel Hospital hospital and that's where she expired. It was too early to be speculating that an aneurysm killed her. They will be doing an autopsy later today to check out her cause of death. But someone might have given Kathy a bad so they'll do a toxicology and we'll have to wait two weeks for the report. Child, even after a detective confirmed that something sus was going on there, I find it quite fascinating that the real autopsy report never came out and the information never found itself to the media. Basically, wow. someone worked really hard to make sure that no more information got out about the affair and the cause of death was concluded as an aneurysm. Again, this definitely sounds like something Jay is capable of. So this whole sense. thing has been blowing over recently because a reporter named Liz Crokin decided to spill. Oh, once you start reaching like the billions of dollars, high millions, and you have a lot of influence, not just by having the money, but also the influence, you're able to control a lot of things, especially when it comes to the legal courts and lawyers. They get paid off. They will get paid off. They'll accept it. This is crazy. Liz said on X that in August of 2011, she was working as a senior editor for Star Magazine, and her boss asked her to look into online blog reports claiming that a woman named Kathy Coriana White, who friends called Corey, was having an affair with Jay-Z. Liz said, I managed to get a hold of Kathy at her job in New York over the phone. During our first conversation, she denied having an affair with Jay-Z. Furthermore, she also claimed that she had never hung out with him or had even met him. I then uncovered photos of Kathy hanging with Jay-Z and Diddy, no less, at Tao Nightclub in Las Vegas. So I called her back and asked her about the photo evidence that debunked her initial claim that she had never met or hung out with Jay-Z. At this point, Kathy expressed to me that she would consider going public with her story. According to Liz, days later, she tried to reach her at work with no luck, and she finally got a hold of one of her colleagues and asked her if she knew why Kathy had been MIA. And her colleague shockingly told her she was no more. Liz also said that sources told her that that Kathy had told Jay-Z she was considering going public with Star via her after they talked. She said there were also online blogs that reported the same story, and she ran a small story on this that appeared in Star at the time. In addition, she said she wanted to pursue the story further, particularly investigate if she was indeed unalived, but she was discouraged from doing so, and her boss was not interested in running a follow-up piece. Liz also added that years later, she met sources who knew both Jay-Z and Kathy and and inside information on her death, and they strongly believed that Jay-Z had her unalived to silence her. Allegedly, one source even told her that Jay-Z had law enforcement and even coroners in his back pocket. And the source also said that there were corrupt coroners in New York City who will rule homicides as natural deaths for cash. And we are talking about a man who had millions. So paying off corrupt coroners was really not a problem for Hova. And if y'all think Beyonce was innocent in all this, you might be mistaken. Allegedly, Beyonce was in on on the plan to have Kathy unalived, especially because she was pregnant with Jay-Z's child. There were even allegations back in the day that Kathy's pregnancy was one of the reasons why Bay forced her own pregnancy announcement. And I'm sure y'all have heard the rumor that Beyonce was not actually pregnant. Yeah, I know, this tired old rumor again. Word on the street was that Beyonce had a surrogate to carry her baby, and that is why the timing was so off and the whole pregnancy was rushed. Allegedly, the rush to have a baby had something to do with the fact that Kathy was also pregnant around the same time. Plus, it would have been a PR nightmare for Beyonce and Jay-Z if Kath did a tell-all around the time they had crafted her over-the-top pregnancy announcement that was obviously engineered as a Hollywood publicity stunt. I know there are also people who are wondering why Kathy was the only one who was unalived, even though we know that Jay-Z had other mistresses. We know that Rachel Roy was probably the one Bay was talking about in Sorry when she talked about Becky with the good hair. Rachel was apparently just one of the mistresses, but there have always been others. A 
allegedly the reason why Kathy was taken out was because unlike others, her intention was to extort Jay-Z. And she was also willing to spill a little bit of his secrets because she had also seen plenty. Also, like I said earlier, Kathy was apparently friends with Jason Lee. And now people are saying that the connection is what Jason was holding over Beyonce's head the other day. The allegation is that Beyonce knows exactly what happened to Kathy and she knows that Jason Lee knows. Girl, the reason why you don't see the story a lot is because there has been a lot of cleaning about anything Kathy related. Threads and posts suddenly get deleted. There are no videos from what happened. Blogs that wrote about it were taken down. And for him to be doing this much cleaning, Hova is definitely hiding something. But this time around, he may not be able to run from it because guys are onto him hoard. But what do you think? Do you believe that Jay had Corey unalived? Do you think Bay was in on it too? Sound off in the comments section below. And one thing we do know in 2024, that these celebrities are getting exposed. That's just the fact of the matter. A lot of things that we would have just overlooked back in like the early 2000s or 1990s, we didn't have access to all of this information because the social media wasn't present. So it would be very, very hard for an individual that knows Jay-Z or knows one of these celebrities to actually even have a voice. Now you have social media, you have sharing. So I believe that's why a lot of these things are going so viral, especially with the lawsuits with Diddy and stuff like that. But just the fact or just the thought of Jay-Z and Beyonce being in on unaliving someone just to save themselves a little embarrassment really shows how big their ego is when it comes to them being a god in the sight of people and being so perfect in the sight of people. Because that's just going way too far, like way too far just to save your name or image for, uh, you know, for the public eye. Comment down below, though. Do y'all believe that this, with the story and context that we have here, do y'all believe that Jay-Z did some inside work to unalive her so she's silenced, so she doesn't give out her story? Or do y'all believe it was just a coincidence that in the same time that she was about to go public with her affair and that she's also pregnant, that 40 hours before that, she ended up being unalived. Comment your thoughts down below about this whole entire situation. Make sure you smash like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace.